Now it's time for Lefty's Losing It. And where would this segment be if it weren't for bitter, bile-filled lefty loons filming themselves losing it and sharing it on social media? Here is such a man, and I use the term man loosely, filming himself having an almighty tantrum on the beach because he saw flags. I'm here enjoying a nice day at the beach with my kids. And I turn around, I get these flags planted here on the beach by these MAGA Listen, this is all America. We know you didn't storm the beaches to stake out your territory on the beach. This isn't the moon. I get it. This is America. But I'm sick of my flag being represented by white nationalist trash on a goddamn beach. Yourselves. Imagine being so triggered by the stars and stripes. If uh, it ain't your flag, though, mate, if seeing the flag makes you so unhinged, perhaps consider moving to a different country. I'm willing to crowdfund a one-way ticket to Iran for you. Something to think about. Uh, we've seen the ladies of The View uh, keen to defend the lefties losing it on college campuses across America. Apparently, these kids are intelligent and ethical crusaders who want to change the world. Which students are pushing against, which I'm thrilled to see, because I like when students get mad and say, we want to change, mate. But how much do these protesters actually know about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Let's find out. Have you guys chanted from the river to the sea? Yes. Okay, which river, which sea? The sea of... <laughs> So you don't know, you don't know. No. And the answer was the Mediterranean and the Jordan. What does Hamas say their number one goal is according to their charter? They just want the free Palestine. It's to murder all Jews around the world. How many years did Israel occupy Gaza? Late 1800s, the entire time. That's since 48. It's actually under Egyptian control for the oh, first wow. 20 or so years. And then Israel actually left Gaza in 2006. I'm shocked. Wait, they left? Wait, what? They left? Yeah, they did. Surely they can't all be this clueless, can they? Let's see if they can answer Zach Sage's next question. What is a Zionist? What is the definition of Zionist? Doesn't that mean you like hate Palestinians, right? Jewish people who think that Judaism is the highest race. Zionism actually just means that you think Jews are entitled to having their own homeland to protect themselves from another Holocaust. You don't even have to be Jewish. That makes you a Zionist. Okay. What does Antifada Revolution mean? I don't know what that means. But you've chanted it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a global call to murder Jews. Wow. Wow. Did you know you said that? No. Would you say it again? Probably not. How much have our foreign adversaries donated to American universities? in the last decade. No idea. I couldn't give you a number on that. The answer was over six billion. How many Gazan refugees have the Arab neighboring countries let in in the last few months? 35,000. The answer was zero. Look, you asked an education major about, about... Students don't seem to know what they stand for. So wouldn't it be great if these expensive colleges actually taught them something? It would be great if uh, colleges charging $50,000, $70,000 tuition would occasionally teach their students something other than how to hate the West. Maybe then we wouldn't have the chickens for KFC phenomenon as exemplified by this next activist. Can you explain what you're wearing? Uh, yeah, this is like this. Yeah, this is a Kia. This is a, uh, yeah, this is a, uh... hmm. Or what's the meaning behind what it is that you're wearing? Yeah, so this is a kiafa. It's like kind of worn in a lot of like kind of like more Middle Eastern cultures. And this one in particular is like has a lot of significance in like the sort of Palestinian resistance. Words, words, words. Wearing this to like show solidarity with like Palestine and Gaza right now. What exactly are the Palestinians resisting? Israel has been essentially colonizing Palestine for the past 70 years or so. And they're resisting colonialism. They are resisting imperialism and they have been resisting a genocide that has been waged against them that has only intensified over the past seven months. And they have been resisting this genocide for the past 70 years. Would you describe yourself as a progressive? Yeah. Do you think that Gaza and the Palestinians share your values? It doesn't really matter what they share my values because at the end of the day, they are being genocided. Are you aware that in Gaza they behead or throw LGBT people off of buildings? No, they do not. Interview's done. Thank you. All right, just ask the question. No, they don't. Interviews done. Oh, dear. These people are almost beyond parody, but some comics find a way. Here is Matan Peretz mocking these nincompoops. 
Like, people are very sensitive. Like, I don't know how can you judge on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict if you don't know your own gender. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. Like, why are people so upset? You used to be Palestine, now it's Israel. You trans, you should know that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Now let's look at some lefties losing it over the commencement speech given by NFL player Harrison Butker. You see, the Chiefs kicker, who is Catholic, gave a commencement speech at a Catholic school saying Catholic things, and that saw this podcaster absolutely lose it. The kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs, who has got to be the most sexist, white supremacist, I have ever seen in my life. Whoa, she just defamed him there wildly. You should probably sue. But they weren't done yet. Why didn't someone think of Taylor Swift? I hate him. It's unbelievable that at a time, this last football cycle, where all of these women are attracted to the NFL because of Taylor Swift. Right. And here's this incredibly successful woman, Taylor Swift, that has this amazing work ethic. And then I forget that this type of person exists everywhere. And I this know. is this is evangelical Christianity. What he said is so disrespectful, so disrespectful. to such a large portion of women. And it's so dismissive. I, I just, I hope that he is canceled I do too. to hell and back. And I feel so sorry that his wife has to sleep with him. Oh, good Lord. That got real weird real quick. And here is another lefty lady losing it over Harrison Butker. She's a former Chiefs cheerleader who seems to think she speaks for all womankind. You know, we have several things in common. First and foremost, until a few months ago, we were both employed by the Kansas City Chiefs. I cheered you on for six years straight. And with that, I would assume we went to the same PR training. Biggest takeaway is you now represent a billion dollar organization. You are no longer just Harrison and Buckert. You are now Harrison Butkert, who plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. And anything you say or do that doesn't align with that brand, scissoring just like the lesbians you hated in that video, will be grounds for termination. Oh, gosh, she's a little bit annoying, isn't she? And these ladies are going to lose it even more when they find out that Harrison Butker's jerseys have sold out. In all the women's sizes, I guess there is only one thing left to do, ladies. Go into the woods and scream it all out.